Good day, everybody. This is Brian Tarian from the Disability Digest here. I have a guest with me, Christine Reinhardt, today. Thanks for joining. Thank you for having me. Um, I've asked Christine to come out and share her story with us today because if you're maybe listening to this and you're still working full time and you may be having some uh, challenges working because of chronic pain or fatigue or whatever it might be or maybe you're not working anymore uh, and you're one of our members that's a Social Security Disability recipient the information that Christine um, is going to share with you may give you a 10 or 15 percent improvement in your quality of life like it has at least has for you so I thank you for taking the time today appreciate that um, so let me see if I get this right, Christine. Okay, you ready? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> about 20 years ago, you went through a series of specialists, like five of them, looking to find out what was going on with you, right? Yes, that's correct, Brian. And at that time, you were in a situation where your mobility was... I'd say significantly compromised. You were using a walker to go short distances and a wheelchair for long distances. You had migraines, excruciating pain, and like nobody could figure out what was going on. That's, that's correct. And, and my regular doctor was stumped too. I mean, he had no idea you know what was going on he kept feeling like it could be MS and that's why he kept sending me to a neurology specialists and none of them came up with any answers um, there was just no reason why I was you know dealing with what I was dealing with and going downhill very fast mm -hmm. until <clears throat> you went to the Mayo Clinic and it looks like that was kind of the eureka moment where they uh, came up with a diagnosis of a severe case of fibromyalgia. That's correct. Um, it took a year before my regular doctor finally said, you know what, we, I think we need to go to the Mayo Clinic and we need to get some answers here. Mm -hmm. So at the Mayo Clinic, I spent a week there and went through all kinds of testing and bottom line was the neurologist who was doing the testing and, and figuring things out. She, she came back uh, in a week and she said, you know, you have the most severe case of fibromyalgia that the Mayo Clinic has ever seen. Oh my God! That's like when I was young. My doctor used to tell me that I was his his most severe allergy patient. It's not something that yeah. <laughs> it's not something that you want to you want you want to have that title. So I think well, it's not something that you want to hear. But you know, once I had something that I I could you know put my fingers on and go, okay, now we have a diagnosis. Now where do we go? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the, the side note here for those of you that are listening is, uh, unfortunately, your story, Christine, is not unique in that people chase a diagnosis for years. And the, the, the one message that I uh, want to just stop and pause and encourage people to do is just keep looking, right? I mean, you just have to keep moving forward. If you didn't do this, right? God knows where you'd be, right? You wouldn't well, know. you know, if I didn't pursue this, and because you know it was expensive to go to the Mayo Clinic, and but the the bottom line is, I had to come up with a diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, I couldn't move forward. Number one in my life, and I couldn't move forward financially either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's certainly. I mean, there's a, a lot of. Uh, it's tough to treat what you don't no you know if you don't know what it is I'm, I'm not a doctor but that's just common sense so for the next 11 years after your diagnosis um, it, there was still a lot of struggle with fatigue right sleep yes, deprivation um, yes um, I, I wasn't sleeping at well let me put it this way I would get about two hours of sleep every day but it wasn't night sleep. It was 
from 5 o'clock until about 7 o'clock in the morning, and then I'd have to get up and get my child off to school. So I would get about two hours of sleep every day, but it wasn't quality sleep. And so my body had become very sleep deprived over those 11 years. That's draining. It's extremely draining, and, and the exhaustion only made the fibromyalgia pain that much worse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're, we're, we're going to move closer to the silver lining and, and what's happened here. Um, okay. But, I mean, there was, a, there was a long period of time where there was, appears to me from the outline that you provided me, like there was a low to no improvement and it looks like one of the first breakthroughs that you had was um, doing pool therapy, water therapy. Is that right? Yeah. Um, actually, when I when I came back from the Mayo Clinic and went in to see my regular doctor, you know, he did suggest that we try pool therapy, and I did pool therapy for a while. In fact, I did pool therapy from home, I had a neighbor that allowed me to come down and use her heated pool. And, um, you know, it was great because my 10-year-old son loved swimming. Mm -hmm. So it it was a great event, not just, you know, to get him exercise and get him in the water, but it was great. When I was in the water, Brian, I was totally pain-free. It was absolutely wonderful. Mm. But after an hour of being in the pool, you turn into a prune and, you know, you got to get out at some point. Right, right. Um, and so once I would get out of the pool, I mean, I the pain just came rushing right back. It was excruciating. Mm. Maybe that's why mermaids always look so happy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're pain-free all, all the time. <laughs> yeah, they've got this beautiful smile. Yeah. Yes, they do. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Well, so then... Um, you've made a lot of progress and pool therapy was the start of it and what's happened since? What has allowed you to, you know, get some of your sleep back, reduce the pain, increase your mobility? Bring us forward. Okay. Well, before I I move forward, um, let me explain that I had, I had done everything the doctors had asked me to do over an 11 year period and I had side effects to all of the medications in fact I would start them I'd either have worse migraines or they would give me they would upset my stomach or you know there was always an issue with them there was very few of them that I was able to take and so we went through a lot of them a lot of the narcotics a lot of things that they call opioids today I'm just very grateful really that I had those allergic reactions because I'm not addicted to them oh gosh yeah Yeah. (laughs) you know and um, so I was looking for something I didn't even know that I was looking for something Brian I I really didn't but something you know I had tried several natural products that were told to me that yes this will help Yes, you can do this, but you go through a period where, you know, you get every uh, vitamin and mineral and, you know, and you try them all and you just don't see a lot of results and you're you're taking so many pills, it just doesn't work. And spending money. And spending a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. So anyway, after, you know, this suffering for 11 years, I was actually introduced to a company with all natural products and of course like I told you I tried other things that really didn't make a difference for me so I kind of laughed in this lady's face Uh. and I said you know what the heck is this stuff going to do that the doctors haven't been able to do and I've tried on my own and she said try it you will be absolutely blown away you will be stunned Uh and I was like okay I guess I'll have to give it a try so this company offers a, a money-back guarantee. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee for their customers. So I thought, you know what? Here is my plan, Brian. I was going to take these products for 30 days, and I was going to send those empty cans back, and I was going to get my money back. That's where my mindset was. Uh huh. And so after 30 days, believe it or not, I started to get four hours of sleep 
every night. So that's doubling your sleep from two to four. That, yep. In 30 absolutely. days. And I was absolutely shocked. Wow. So I stayed on the products and I took them exactly like I was told. And three months later, I had less pain. Mm -hmm. I had a little more energy. And like I said, I was getting about four hours of sleep. Hmm. So I thought, I got nothing to lose here. So I bought some more product and I stayed on it through six months. Six months later, I was, I, I actually added in another product and I'll tell you what, Brian, within two weeks that cut my pain in half. So you have your pain's been cut in half and you've doubled your sleep. You're at four I hours of sleep. sleep in, in and six I had months. a little more energy and my brain fog was actually lifting. I, I, I actually could focus a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. it, it was just, mm -hmm. it was stunning. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's significant. It was stunning. So six months on, on these products, I went in to see my doctor, and he, my rheumatologist said he couldn't believe the difference in me. He told me that whatever I was doing, I should never stop taking them because they were working. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Gosh, so by that's the end of the first year... Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, this was absolutely life changing for me. Mm -hmm. So but at the end, the end of the first year, mm -hmm. I was out of my wheelchair, and I was walking unassisted. I wasn't even using my walker. Um, I had tried to go with a cane for about a month, and I wound up at a restaurant tripping over the dang cane, and I said, "That's enough of that." <laughs> so no, no cane, no wheelchair. Um, that getting your mobility back. I mean, which which was the best, the sleep, the pain, or the mobility? Actually, getting the sleep because you know what the what the products will tell you that they do is they build your immune system uh -huh. and it allows your body to start the process of healing itself. Oh it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and that's where it all started because my body was so sleep deprived and in so much excruciating pain, that's what I needed. Mm -hmm. um, I needed to be able to sleep to give my body that REM sleep and I wasn't getting any of that. Mm -hmm. That's the key, quality sleep. That, yep, that, w that was the key. And that's what started to reduce my pain because my body could actually start healing itself. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Wow, makes total sense to me. So that allowed the other areas to to improve, reduce the pain, increase the mobility because you're getting stronger, right? So you yes. Can... Yep. My muscles had totally atrophied <clears throat> by the time I'd been in a wheelchair for a year. Mm -hmm. And after eleven years, you can imagine, you know, where I was. Right. Right. And um, so yes, it started to, um, you know, heal giving me sleep, allowing the pain to reduce, and mm -hmm. helping me to be able to build mobility so that I could actually, you know, do some walking. And, you know, it started out very slow, but over time, I was able to, you know, not use the wheelchair walker and cane. Yep. What a story. What a story. So now, <clears throat> um, with the experience that you've had, you have offered to speak to others, which is very mm -hmm. nice of you, to answer some questions that they may have. Maybe they're doing things that, or want to do things that you've tried or learn more about what you've done. Um, so they can reach out to you, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So first of all, before I tell people how you do that, I, I want to thank you. Your story is amazing absolutely amazing and I thank you for your generosity in sharing it so sure. uh, for those that well, one thing before I, I complete the story is yes. I do want to let people know that you know what I'm not totally pain free today mm -hmm. I you know I have reduced my pain by at least 60 to 70 percent which is huge I do still deal with migraines. I get two to three migraines a week, but they don't. I don't get sick from them anymore, and 
pretty much I have good days where I can go through and do what I need to do on a daily basis, even when I'm dealing with the migraine pain. Um, and what I have found is that there's a new product that our company brought out. And actually, this is very interesting, Brian. You're going to love this. It is CBD oil. Oh. And I never thought that CBD oil would help my migraines. But you know what? It dulls the pain that I do have with them. How do you, how do you use it? It's under the tongue. Uh-huh. Okay. It's a, it comes in a, a liquid form. Mm-hmm. And you put it under the tongue, you let it sit there for a minute, and then you swallow it, and it is absolutely amazing. Wow. Because that helps even more, because before I was really struggling with being able to be on the computer and, you know, be in front of that white screen. Yeah, yeah. One of the things you didn't share is you were able to get in a situation where you went back and did some part-time work, right? That's right. That's right. I, I have been able to, you know, do some part-time work. Now it does have to be, you know, from home um, because of my situation with my back and, mm -hmm. you know, being able to sit in a comfortable area to do this. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, despite that, I mean, just absolutely amazing that I've been able to work part-time and be able to do it from home. And I absolutely have loved being with working with Brian and being with the Disability Digest. Mm -hmm. He's given me an opportunity that has totally turned things around for me, and I've learned so much. And I, I just, I love this. That's great, great. Well, thank you for sharing your story. Is there? any other golden so listen thanks again Christine for your time for those of you listening that would like to contact Christine to learn more just look right below this video there will be contact directions for Christine um, and follow those and um, if Christine doesn't get right back to you that means that she's probably got a lot of people that she's helping because I'm sure this is going to make a difference for several that are out there so once again Christine thank you very much for sharing your story